welcome to a snowy Saturday edition of Quick Guitar Tip. Today, we're going to talk about rhythm. Do you have it? I don't know. Do you know? How do you know? Well, I'm here to tell you. I'll go over how you're gonna know, what's the problem not having good rhythm, and what do you do to fix it. Let's start with how you know. If you don't know, um, ask the people that listen to you. And if, uh, if they're good, honest friends and you don't have good rhythm, hopefully they'll tell you. Maybe they don't quite know what good rhythm or whether that's the problem or not. Um, but uh, anyways, ask the people that are listening to your stuff. If that's not an option, listen to yourself. Record yourself playing, listen back to it, and uh, and hear whether you can uh, feel the rhythm. Tap your foot while you're listening to your recording. Um, other indicators uh, is if you are playing along with a band or with a drummer or just along to a song, um, if you feel like you're lagging behind, if you're feeling like it's tough to stay in time with that song, then yeah, you might have to improve on your rhythm. Um, so the problem with not having good rhythm is uh, it can make people feel a little uncomfortable while you're playing. Something doesn't sound or feel right. Even if you're hitting all the notes perfectly, um, it, it'll make people feel a little uneasy. Uh, on the other side of the coin, if you are playing rhythm perfectly, it doesn't even matter if you make mistakes. People will be able to, to feel it and they won't even notice it. They'll overlook if you make a mistake at that point. Um, so just something to keep in mind that rhythm ties all your playing together. It makes you a well-rounded guitarist. Um, uh, it's easy for guitarists to forget about the importance of rhythm. Um, they don't have that, uh, like as a drummer, a percussionist, that is your main focus is the rhythm and being that reliable source. Um, you don't have that pressure as a guitarist, uh, so it's easy to get caught up in every other aspect of learning. So, how do you solve it? Well, the answer is simple. Play along with a reliable source of rhythm. So, whether that's a metronome or a drummer. Um, if you don't have any drummers to play with, I get it. It's tough. There aren't many of them out there. So um, you have alternatives. There are, there's a plethora of uh, metronome apps that you can download on your phone and it'll make a steady beat for you that you can play along to. Um, if you have any old metronomes kicking around, such as like this, for example, um, you can use that. Yeah, it just creates something steady you can play with. Um, Anything you got, it just needs to be uh, relatively reliable. Um, you don't even really have to try when you're using a metronome or drummer uh, in the sense of stressing about it. Just play it and have it going in the background and your playing will naturally improve just by having a, uh, a steady time that you can play along with. Um, so see what you can dig up, assess your own playing and whether you feel confident and confident about your rhythm. Um, and then see if you can improve it. Uh, it's, I would recommend any guitarist to play along with a steady source of rhythm to improve their playing and their rhythm and, uh, and make their playing more appealing. So anyways, good luck guys. Um, send me a message if you have more questions about that or what sort of apps I might recommend to use as a metronome. Uh, and otherwise I'll talk to you guys soon.